Hi, this is Eric with Cat Avenue, and today I'm going to be going into part two of isometric piping. Uh, have a look at part one as there's some things in there that I'm not going to uh, go over again. Um, for the most part, uh, today I'm going to be getting into annotations and dimensions, and then I'm going to be putting a couple of fittings in as well. So let's um, check a couple of things. For our annotations, make sure that this is set to standard for our dim style, as well the dim scale should be set to 24 for today's um, tutorial. And that equals to half inch. Have a look at uh, the previous video for more about that. And um, then down here, I need our e-snap settings or o-snap settings as they're called in AutoCAD, set to endpoint, center, and midpoint. And that's essentially it. So then uh, if we uh, open up the isometric pipe utility, um, I'm working in half inch, butt welded. I've got uh, these draw options selected. For today, I've uh, turned this off. Um, I'm not going to be too concerned with the lengths of my pipes today. But if you were, make sure that you have this turned on. And again, that's in the previous video. So let's input our schematic. So I'm going to arbitrarily put some points in here. Um, we'll go over kind of zoomed, not zoomed far enough into the drawing. So let me, and you may experience this as well. So this is kind of good that you're seeing this. So let's, let's get down into the area where we can see our fittings and then we start the sketch. All right. So we're going to come over here, go down. I'm working in the left view in isometric. And come up and then go over. So a pretty simple plan here. Um, then I'm going to put a, um, a valve halfway between that bottom piece of pipe. So we'll go over to our valve. And then from here, you'll see we have lots of options. All the valve types are in this pull down here. You can even define your own valve here, give it a name and so forth, and then save it. I want to show you that. Let's just choose the ball valve today. This one is from the center point. And we'll put a point right here in the, the center of our pipe, and then we'll point our cursor in the pipe direction. And that puts the valve in. Now, if we wanted to do another fitting, let's do a T. We'll choose this one. We'll choose the center point one again. And we'll choose the midpoint of this one. Pipe direction is this way. And branch direction is this way. Now, if we wanted to just erase this, right, and then put our flanges on both sides, we could do that. So here's our flange. We'll double click on that. And here we have our flange types in this pull down menu. And I'm choosing welding neck in this example. And Place the point at the midpoint of our valve here. It will ask us if we want to add fasteners. We say yes. Then we can continue on with the straight piece and press enter to end the pipe run. 
Now we can do the same thing to the opposite side. So let's go back into the isopiping again. Let's just do one more flange. We'll choose the welding neck. Midpoint, pipe direction, add fasteners, yes. And then we can finish it off with the straight piece. Now, if we wanted to, we could run the bill materials on this. Um, I showed you that in the last video, so I don't think I'm going to do that again, although I'm going to show you one more thing. If we go into the bill materials, and underneath bomb options, we can turn off the bomb balloons option so that we don't have to go through and label all our uh, pieces if we don't want to. So I wanted to show you that. Um, have a look at the previous video for how to do the bill of materials. Um, but let's continue on with dimensioning. So we have ISO dimensioning here. And it wants the first point. So we select this point. And then for the second point, we're going to choose the, uh, the midpoint of our valve there. Now it wants the dimension line location, so we'll put it down here. And then lastly, it wants the length, so we can override the length of 31 to 200, let's say. Then it puts that dimension string in there. And now it wants to continue on to the end, so we'll do this one. And we'll put in 200. So that's how you dimension. Now if I wanted to annotate this, escape out of that, if I wanted to annotate this T, I could go back into ISO again. Select ISO text. The insertion point can be in this area here. The text direction this way. And here, vertical or flat, I'm going to go with vertical, so I'm going to type V for vertical. And then for my text, I'm going to just type in V1. And then exit out. And that puts in that piece of uh, text there. Right beside the valve. Now, if I wanted to plot, I know I showed you how to plot in the last video, but let's say if I just wanted to plot this little piece here that I just drew, and I didn't really want to mess with the paper space or anything like that, or setting up a title block, which I showed you in the last video. Um, let me show you real quick how to do that. So plot, do a window, select the window around the area you want to plot, change this to a monochrome and then preview it and you can see there's our isometric drawing there now if you, I wanted to turn this center line off you know before I plotted um, I can go up here in my home tab and then turn off this layer here, just select the little light bulb there, and that turns off the um, the center line layer. So let me know if you have any questions. Um, I can be reached at 888-271-7121, and uh, or you can also email me directly at info at cadavenue.com. And have a great day, and we'll see you in the next video.